are the only person who's given a full account of what the president said yesterday is the one Democrat who was president, who was president, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin, a leading advocate for Dreamers and other immigrant groups. In a series of press appearances this morning, Durbin recounted exactly what happened inside the Oval Office. The president came into the Oval Office and Senator Lindsey Graham and I made our presentation. As Senator Graham made his presentation, the president interrupted him several times with questions and in the course of his comments uh, said things which were hate-filled, vile, and racist. We have a group that have temporary protected status in the United States because they were the victims of crises and disasters and political upheaval. The largest group is El Salvador, and the second is Honduran, and the third is Haitian. And when I mentioned that fact to him, he said, Haitians, do we need more Haitians? And then he went on when we started to describe the immigration from Africa that was being protected in this uh, bipartisan measure. That's when he used these vile and vulgar comments, calling the nations they come from shitholes. The exact word used by the president, not more, not just once, but repeatedly. My colleague, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, spoke up and made a direct comment on what the president said. I was very proud of him. It took courage for what he did. And um, I made my own comments in response to it. But for him to confront the president, as he did, uh, literally sitting next to him, took extraordinary political courage, and I respect him for it. He said, put me down for wanting more Europeans to come to this country. Why don't we get more people from Norway? That was exactly what the president said. I'm joined now by Democratic Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California. So, Congresswoman, you have Dick Durbin saying that when uh, immigration from Haiti or the TPS situation from Honduras and Haiti and El Salvador was described, Donald Trump said, Haitians, do we need more Haitians uh, on the question of Africa? He called those nations shitholes. That was exact word used by the president per Lindsey Graham. And then uh, the last bit here, Donald Trump saying, put me down for wanting more Europeans to come for this country. Your thoughts, Congresswoman? Well, you know, I have called him uh, what I know him to be for a long time. Uh, remember some time ago I called him scumbag? Uh, I've called him a racist, deplorable, despicable, uh, added to what others are calling him, a moron, ignorant, on and on and on. The United States of America is represented by the most despicable human being that could possibly ever walk the earth. I don't know when Americans are going to tire of this lying man. Uh, it has been documented that he has told over 2,001 lies since he has been in office. He named calls. He basically disparaged a United States congresswoman and basically said she would do anything for a contribution. Talked about, as you know, during the campaign, grabbing women by their private parts. What more do we need to see or hear from this racist man? Not only is he racist, uh, he is an embarrassment uh, for this country. Our allies are quickly moving away from him. What are we waiting for? He is basically bringing this country down. And for all of those Republicans on the other side who stand with him, who claimed to have been patriotic, they are not patriotic. They are with not the guts to stand up or they join him as racist. And so I, I have known this. Uh, and I've called for his impeachment over and over again. I've been criticized for it, but I don't know what else we need to say about him. I know a lot of people are saying, let's see what Mueller is going to do. Is he going to connect the dots? Well, this man has obstructed justice right before our very eyes. We keep hearing about all of these meetings and connections with the Russians uh, by his family and others. I simply believe that not only has he colluded, and of course he has obstructed justice, but his character is such that the United States and the citizens of this country, rather, should not be willing to tolerate. He's a bad image for our children, and he should be impeached. We should move him out of office. The American citizens who are fed up with him are looking for Congress to take responsibility and do what we must do and impeach him. Get rid of him. Get him out of here. And, and you know, Congressman, you... you 
you hit on a point because when you say well, how much more can we tolerate and you know I think all those of us who are in this business hear from people all the time what can we do and it, the, the truth is that only Congress can rein in a president of the United States and that impeachment or censure has to begin in the House of Representatives I want to play you two pieces of sound from the Speaker of the House Paul Ryan and the way he reacted to Donald Trump's racism back on the campaign trail and the way that he reacted to what we just learned that the president said um, in the Oval Office and this was these are those two things and this was the yes. first one is June 2016 here you go claiming a person can't do the job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment I think that should be absolutely disavowed it's absolutely unacceptable first thing that came to my mind was very unfortunate um, unhelpful um, whether you're coming from Haiti we've got great friends from Africa in Janesville uh, who are doctors who are just incredible and uh, I just think it's important that we celebrate that the first piece of sound was when uh, Donald Trump disparaged Judge Curiel saying that he's Mexican therefore he can't judge uh, a case against Donald Trump what do you make of, of, of the declination of Paul Ryan's outrage from June of 2016 to today well evidently uh, he it's oh, not a real leader. Uh, and I wish I could say he didn't have the courage of his convictions, because I don't know if he has any. Uh, but I know this. History will not be kind to him, uh, to these Republicans, and to those who are basically standing by him, embracing him. As far as I'm concerned, they're confirming uh, that they're just as bad as he is. And so for Paul Ryan, uh, who is supposed to be a leader, who, you know, occupies the speakership, uh, for the Congress, for the House of Representatives, he is irresponsible. He is not providing leadership. He's not doing his job. We need to get rid of him also. And, and, and Congresswoman John Lewis, Congressman John Lewis, of course, civil rights legend John Lewis, is not going to be going, he says, to the State of the Union. Are you going to go? Oh, no. You know, I didn't go to the inauguration. I didn't go to, um, you know, the joint session that was held mm -hmm. after that. I don't mm -hmm. intend to go no. to this one. Why would I take my time to go and sit and listen to a liar, to someone who lies in the face of facts, who someone who can change their tune day in and day out. What does he have to say that I would be interested in? I don't trust him. I don't appreciate him. And I wouldn't waste my time sitting in that house listening to what he has to say. He does not deserve my attention. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, definitive as always. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Congresswoman Maxine Waters, we thank you here. All right, then. All right, all right.